Radio right, Tubers, what's going on? It's been a while since I made a video, so I figured I'm up here on Mount Cutha. Uh, I think it's Gap Creek Recreational Reserve. Going for a bit of a pedal. I've um, been pretty absent lately from the old YouTube. Uh, not because I wanted to, because I needed to. Had to pay some bills. Same old, same old story as always. And sitting in front of the computer all the time, it just, it's not working for me anymore. Trying to be the responsible adult, look after my kids, money, money, money all the time. So I decided that I should get fit. And by get fit, what I mean is, I'm actually trying to kill myself very slowly, one hill at a time. Now, I'll overlay the track of where I've been riding today. It's only about a four kilometer loop, but the pedal on my at the moment is up about 120 meters in elevation over about a kilometer. So, balls are sticking to my legs, chest is pumping out of my chest, and I've got about 10 pedals before I'm at the top. So, let me get off this bike, magically get back to my work room, workshop, this is going to my head, and take you a walk around my power wall and see what's happening. As always, exercise before you get to 45 years old. This shit will kill me. Uh, explanation to why I haven't been doing too many videos is basically, um, I've said this in the last couple of months a lot, I needed to concentrate on love, life, relationship and finances. Um, that's been a big thing. I've had to rebuild my business again because I just dropped the ball. I concentrated on YouTube far too much. It doesn't pay the bills. Um, well, YouTube directly doesn't really pay the bills, but it's 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 still all there. But I needed I needed the core business, which is my computers, to crack on. So I've been doing that. But back on to the old uh, YouTubes. Um, basically, if anybody really wants to know YouTube itself, like just the platform YouTube, earns me between ten and fifteen bucks a day when I'm doing nothing. Um, I'll I'll share that screen here so you can see it, so you know what I, I'm still making money from it. I'm not complaining about the the, the cash earned. It's just needed to get some priorities right. Um, I think that was very, very important. So what have I been doing? Um, this pack here will be going to a new home. I am going to do a big video on that one. Uh, I'm helping out a buddy that's helped me out a lot. So I'm sort of returning the love a little bit. Still got to work out a few details, still got a few more parts to buy, but basically that'll be running his off-grid property. Um, I have got the IDS T T8 from Banggood. Um, I'm yet to do a review on that. I have to open that up. So if you've got anything you want me to test with that, let me know. I'll be keen to do that. I'm going to retest this whole pack with this and see, see how it compares to the iCharger, which I absolutely love and can recommend without even hesitation. So what else has been happening? It's been so long since I've been down the battery shed. My grass is growing. I haven't opened these up for a while. I rely, rely on my Batrium to tell me what's going on in here. Come on. So nothing much has happened. In the power shed, it's basically exactly the same way as it was when we decommissioned the solar immersion unit and then actually uh, installed the Eddy hot water diverter. What I was thinking with this one is this got a button on it that'll boost. You can just press a button and it'll boost. I'm wondering if I can use the Batrium, hook this up to my off-grid and this up to my hot water system, or maybe a second hot water system tank, and actually have the Batrium trigger this and turn this on and off, because I already have it, right? And heat a second hot water system or something like that. That's a lot of work, I probably won't do it, but comment below if you think that's a dumb idea. Um, I actually had, if you, anybody follows DIY Powerwalls on Facebook, I've had a couple of cells here. I think uh, that one, that one, and that one have dropped really, really low. I think they may be self-discharging in, in some form or fashion, I don't know. I just got the eye charger boosted them back up again and they all work quite well still. So they're, they're nice and balanced. Um, another problem is I guess I don't have enough solar to actually fully charge the batteries every day. They sort of float in between 
sort of 40% and 80% state of charge, which I guess is good for the battery life, but it's not good for the balance because they can't balance every day. Um, and yes, my batteries do need balancing every day because, you know, I could have built these better and I've seen a lot of people building the bigger cells. They, they seem to stay much better balanced lower end, but hey, look, I've been running this for two, two and a half years now. Probably one of the longest full-time DIY power walls that's out there, and there's a lot of them that haven't even got their power walls running yet, but done fantastic jobs. Credit to you guys. Um, stick with it, it is worth it, and it is fun. Around at my power meter, which is all the way around the other side of the house because I have a fence here and I can't get through to my battery shed and my power shed and my fan with that excellent fan. Um, I got my hot water diverter here, the Eddy unit, which has been flawless. Uh, it, it, with this screen, it's the single best update I've done to my power wall since I got it. Uh, what do we got? Now, I am still go there, go there. So I've done 694 kilowatt hours in total. Uh, and it says 570 this year, but it disregard that because I didn't, when I, when I installed it, I didn't set the date and time properly and I probably should have, but 694 kilowatt hours being diverted to my um, hot water system rather than sold to the grid at, I think I get six or seven cents per kilowatt hour sold back by now, but it's, been horribly cloudy and rainy we haven't had rain here for many months um, but it's it's pretty cloudy we don't expect to see any sunlight today at all but we're still doing I think 500 watts cut the screen I'm doing about 500 watts from the 6,000 watts of panels on the SMA inverter um, I would surely like to have this AC coupled to my batteries as well that would be that would be cool. Back up in the workshop again. Only the other, only other interesting thing that's happened is I've taken up mountain biking. I'm trying to get rid of these man boobs. They've been um, 45 years in the making, but it's time to, you know, it's time to say goodbye to them. So I'm trying to get back on top of my fitness as well, uh, which has taken up a lot of time going riding. Uh, I go to Mount Cutha Recreational Reserve. I think it might be called Gap Creek Reserve um, in Brisbane. I go riding around there for a couple of hours every weekend. Who knew that trying to kill yourself could be so much fun, but it is serious fun. There's some serious hills to go down there. And I think I think killing yourself is just riding up the hills. Going down, it's fine, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, if you've made it this far, thanks for tuning in. I guess all I can, I'm gobsmacked that YouTube can provide me with this sort of um, level of interaction with people and community and all that sort of stuff. So... Tubers, 6 million views, 45,000 subscribers. Thank you. I'll try and make some more content. I'll see you on the next one.